All right, some of us are planning to hit the skies this holiday weekend. I'm one of them. AAA projecting 3.5 million people will travel by air. The lowest average airfare is 14% more expensive than 12 months ago. And get ready for potential long wait times at the airport. Even before the holiday travel rush starts, airline passengers have seen 463 cancellations and more than 4,400 delays. Starting tomorrow, some airlines, including United and American, are either cutting back flights or temporarily suspending them to certain cities to ease the backlog. Nick Ewan is back. He's the director of content for thepointsguide.com, a website that helps travelers get the most out of their credit card rewards. We're not talking about those rewards right now, though, Nick. We're talking about some problems that we could see over the holiday system, uh, season. Is there a quick fix right now to first the problem? And then we do need to talk about the um, America's pilot shortage as well. And unfortunately, there's no quick fix. There's no silver bullet that's going to address the concerns that are going to be plaguing travelers, not just this weekend, but really for the next couple of months throughout the summer. You have this huge demand. You have a shortage of pilots, a shortage of air traffic controllers, ground staff. Uh, and of course, then you factor in weather delays as well. It's shaping up to be a pretty rough travel summer here in the United States. Off-duty pilots for Delta Airlines spent today on the picket lines instead of in the cockpits. Hundreds protested in seven cities that serve as hub for the airlines. Pilots want better pay, better job protection, and changes to the current demanding schedules. Are pilots simply overworked? Well, I think there were a lot of pilots that did take early retirement packages when demand really cratered during the pandemic. And the big issue is that getting a pilot into a cockpit, a new pilot, is not as simple as just going through a job interview process. There is extensive training that has to go into that in order to equip a pilot or a first officer to really be equipped to operate that jet effectively and safely. There are major safety concerns where you want to make sure you have an experienced pilot. So it's not something that you can just fix immediately. It's going to take time to really build that uh, population of pilots up. And this is across all airlines. So Delta has seen a lot of issues recently, but a lot of airlines are facing these concerns and it's going to take time to address. Nick, bailout. A lot of people are going to talk about bailout, including Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. Yeah, of course, there's a lot of ire directed at airlines these days. They did take a lot of government funding with the, the hopes that they would be prepared when demand came back. The issue here is that really no one saw just how quickly demand was going to come back. And airlines were a little bit aggressive at planning their schedules for this summer. That's what you've seen, as you mentioned at the beginning of the segment, some airlines are beginning to pull back on some of that uh, scheduling mm -hmm. to hopefully ease some of the concerns. I think you'll continue to see that throughout the summer as airlines try to match their supply of labor to operate these flights with the incredible demand that we've seen across the country. Yeah, and I think there's going to some demands are going to be coming as far as answers to questions of that bailout. Let's listen to Pete Buttigieg and what he had to say. We have provided tens of billions of dollars of taxpayer funding to the airlines over the last couple of years to keep the system resilient, to keep people in their jobs. They need to be stress testing their schedules to see if they're actually realistically schedules that they can support. All right, so now we're seeing public officials say, hey, hey, wait a minute, we did give you money. Look, are we between a rock and a hard place here as consumers, as travelers going, they got the money, they laid people off, now they don't have enough, and we're going to have to deal with it? Unfortunately, hate to be the very bad say it, news, Nick. but... I'm going to say that the long and short of that answer is yes, yeah. we are going to be facing the brunt of this. But I do have faith that the administration and other officials are really looking at this very closely. We've seen some direct communications from airlines saying that they are really taking steps to address this. The issue here, though, is that it's not a short term fix. It's going to take time to iron out these operational issues. So pack your patience if you're traveling this summer, especially this really busy holiday weekend. Uh, things may not go as smoothly as you would hope. Are you amazed that the low price or the hot deals that you can find are so significantly higher this year than they were last year? Because I am floored. I'm trying to take another quick summer vacation with my family. I don't know if I can afford it. There's no question that prices are up, and that is simply a function of the demand. Of course, having airlines pull back on their schedules, lowering that supply, 
but keeping that demand high, that's only going to raise prices even higher. So if you're looking for deals, the best thing I can say is to plan ahead, be flexible in your dates, look at traveling at potentially off peak hours or off peak times, not on a holiday weekend that we have coming up. Uh, so there's definitely going to be continued pressure. We I've actually talked to some readers here at the points guy who have said, you know what? forget it. We're going to look to the fall when things hopefully ease up a little bit. Demand tends to drop as people go back to work and go back to school. So that's certainly an option. But if you do have travel booked for the next several weeks, pack your patience because you're probably going to need it. Nick, do you have a good album that I can listen to on Saturday as I wait to get through the TSA check line? Because <laughs> I think I'm going to need it. Uh, I wish I wish I did. I'm flying out tomorrow. I'm hoping for the best. I'm uh, planning for the worst, though, yeah. and I'm hoping that it's going to end up somewhere in between. At least I have a nonstop flight. Hopefully that'll get me to where I that'll, need to be. That'll help. Nick Ewan, the director of content for ThePointsGuy.com. Thank you, bud. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.